the final boss. This is why playing shamans in arena sucks. Yeah, you need a crazy deck and you get very lucky. Sham like shaman is good in arena. Like I think my average is like seven seven point five or something. Actually I can just look it up. Let me look it up here in a sec. But that's not the point. The point is like when you lose, you just feel fucking hopeless and helpless. Let me see how am I doing a shaman? Seven point two average. Ah, that's hello, that's good. You know, that's better than Warlock. Damn. It's not a 12 win flame juggle, bro. That's that's a 12 win card, for sure. It's not that bad. How much do you have to donate for me to concede right now? Don't think it works that way. I have a plan. You can try donating the largest amount that you think would make me concede, and then we can see if I'll concede. How's that sound? It's pretty good, right? It's a pretty good deal. Face, please. I mean, you would go face with this board. There's no question to go face. It's only to play around Dark Iron Skulker. Alright. Would you look at that? It's, I don't know, it's not necessarily a snipe, but the only way, the only reason you'd make that play is to play around Dark Iron Skulker. There is no other card that punishes you. Here you'd go face, unless you want to play around Assassinate. If you play around Skulker, then you definitely will play around Assassinate. Because one card is much more likely to have than the other. Okay. 
save the coin for next turn because I'll probably have to do an anti kill bot. Mind if I roll need? Reporting for duty. I can't play around and get down. I lose exactly to get down. Dead to five damage, it's not very likely. I'm gonna play a tempo card here. This is more tempo, and then I'm gonna have to heal next turn. I think I need to do this, otherwise, I'm just gonna lose to the board, most likely. Five damage is an unusual amount. Pretty bad though. I think trading here is a good idea to protect the Calder. Sucks for me though, I'll say that. Bucks to make me concede. No. Good try, thank you. I'll invest that wisely. Oh my god. Zaro. Don't like Zaro. He just drew a consecration. a game winning top deck. What do I need to draw off a hammer to not lose? Lord of the Arena. Hmm. Corrupted Seer. Assassinate. Skulker's not good enough. And Eviscerate. Does Eviscerate help? Eviscerate's not good enough. It has to be a Taunt. Or Corrupted Seer. Or Assassinate. But if it's Assassinate, I Corrupted Seer. Okay, I conceded. 2.50 to concede, yep, yep, 
I guess that was it. You got it. <laughs> that's that's the magic number. Legendary. Shatter, shatter. It's a nice death rattly hand. Alright, I think I have all those though. Yeah, I have all of those. Well, that's two 11 wins in a row. I don't normally get 11 wins, but. Hmm. Dem final bosses, bros. Very tough. I'm not sure what to think of that last match. It felt like he was sniping at the start, but then he played around Assassinate, which was correct. And if he knew that I didn't have Assassinate, then he would have gone face. So, I don't know. I think it's one of those cases where I made a suboptimal play that ended up being better. And you don't play around score cards. Alright. Yeah, I mean, muster for battle on on turn three. Consecration when needed it. Kraken when needed a big minion. It's a lot of very lucky things on his side. It's too bad. 